Remember this film? The Black Cauldron. In 1971, Disney purchased the rights to a series of books by Lloyd Alexander called The Chronicles of Prydain, a five-volume fantasy based loosely on Welsh mythology. In 1980, Joel Hale was named producer of the film, and at this time he rewrote the script, making some changes. One of the major changes was to the Horn King, who was a minor character in the book, but Hale decided to expand his role, making the villain a composite of several characters from the original stories. The movie was then directed by Ted Berman and Richard Rich, alongside a wonderful cast who provided many voices to bring the characters to life. They wanted me to do that part. Um, it's, 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 it's often a certain amount of amusement for an actor as to why you get chosen for a part. And he was such a loathsome creature. I, I, I um, believe that, um, I don't know, I seem to dredge a voice from somewhere, from the bowels of the earth, I think, was the general idea. I presume, my boy, you are the keeper of this oracular pig. It was very um, hard to speak, if you see what I mean. It was all um, dredged from somewhere. The Black Cauldron, so indulging. Love characters they've been part of my life i mean bambi and thumper and go on and on and on i mean for what it did to me or for me as a child i can only hope that something like that will happen to somebody else from what i've done i mean i sat there and i cried and i, I sat there and i laughed and i felt joy and, and i knew that everybody in the world could feel the same thing in production the film seemed promising the Black Cauldron was the first Disney animated feature to employ computer-generated imagery. The film was also shot using 70mm film, which had only been done previously by Disney in the film Sleeping Beauty. In all, the animated film was 12 years in the making. Over 1,100 different hues and colors were implemented, and over 35 miles of film stock was utilized. The film cost $25 million to produce, but sadly only returned $10 million in the North American box office. Was this the reason the film has become somewhat forgotten? Was it because it was the first and only Disney animated classic to receive a PG rating? Or was it the dark-themed film trailer? There once was a spirit so cruel that it was imprisoned forever in the form of a great black cauldron. Now whoever gets control of the cauldron will rule the world and destroy it. These are our heroes. The ones that will save us. A fearless fighter. But I'm not afraid. Ouch. A princess currently without a throne. And oh. that lovable pest, Gurgi. Munchies and crunchies in here somewhere. But look what our heroes are up against. Moose. Huh? Creeper. <laughs> a servant of evil. And evil is their leader. The Horned King. <laughs> and his army of deathless warriors. In 70 millimeter photography and six track Dolby sound, Walt Disney Pictures presents The Black Cauldron. Soon the Black Cauldron will be mine. Whoa, trouble, goodbye. The Black Cauldron. Most likely, the film did not succeed because it was just a bit too dark and before its time. And because of this lack of success in the U.S., there has not been much cross-promotion of the film at Disney theme parks. There used to be a restaurant in Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom called Gurgi's Munchies and Crunchies in Fantasyland. It closed in 1993. The only other attraction was at Cinderella's Castle Mystery Tour at Tokyo Disneyland, which has also since closed.
While it was open, the last challenge involved the Black Cauldron and the Horned King. The battle with the Horned King, the door would open in an eerie hall that had skeleton soldiers lying on the floor. The Sword of Light, aka Tarin Sword, is to the right, and the Black Cauldron is at the center atop a pedestal. Slowly, the Horned King appears and looks down to see his enemy is still alive. Everybody welcome. This is the Black Cauldron. Everything in the world is controlled. Don't be afraid. It will all be over shortly. No one can escape from here. You'll all be sacrificed in the Black Cauldron. Mm, Satan's kiln. Awaken and resurrect the soldiers of death. Rebuild an army without rivals. The army of death rise. The devil's servants. Go and capture them and throw them into the cauldron. Don't leave anybody behind. The black cauldron wants more bodies. I swear to death. Nobody can destroy me. What? What's that? Capture those fools that gratify the Black Cauldron. Just then, the special guest points to the Sword of Light towards the Horn King. It is blasted away. It has lost. And the hero's goodness triumphs. Since its closing, there has been no Black Cauldron characters in any Disneyland theme parks. But as scary as the film was, there was one memorable character that people know and love. That is Gurgi. Gurgi is portrayed like a small badger-like creature who speaks somewhat like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, only more cute and cuddly. The voice of Gurgi was provided by actor and personist John Biner. I was shown the storyboard, or as much as they had, uh, about this lovable little character who always liked to eat and... Uh would do anything, you know, to get what he wanted to, and and he sounded like a, a fun guy, you know, so I just added a little bit of, uh, I guess you'd call a child's uh, inflection on, on what he had to say, rather than say, uh, uh, I went for munchies and punches, because I'm very hungry, I said. I said. I like the munchies and punches, because I'm very hungry, which I get. So, that's the way it is, because you're very hungry, that's why. Oh, poor miserable Gurgi deserves fierce smackings and whackings on his poor tender head. I was left with no munchings and crunchings. Although we may never know for sure why the Black Cauldron was not a commercial success, it has seemed to have found its audience. If you have not seen the film, we hope this documentary has urged you to do so, and we ask of you from now on to please remember this film.